the large... <laughs> Sorry, my brain's having a stroke trying to read. I think you get a couple of little typos in there. My brain's having a stroke trying to read this. I think you're trying to say the larger the width of a crater on Earth, the deeper, uh, the deeper it is. Uh, but no matter how wide a crater is in the moon, they all only go to a uniform depth of two to three kilometers. Why is this? All right. Let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about the moon. We can do it with our old friend Google Earth. Okay, so uh, we can point to a, a crater here on Earth. Uh, let's go to um, and it's one of the ancient craters, something that's you know a few billion years, a couple hundred million years old, like this guy right here. This one here in Quebec. This is uh, uh, this is about two hundred and thirty million years old, I think. Um, uh, where's the, give me the Wikipedia thing to show me. Here we go. Yes. An Algonquin crater, 215 million years ago. It's 300 kilometers north of, uh, Bay Como. It's very remote. Um, five kilometer wide diameter asteroid is what caused it. So. All right. So it's hundred kilometers wide. That's not so. That's that's chump change. Okay, so this big guy right here, um, it when it hit, shabam! Uh, it probably the, the the five kilometer wide meteor that hit the Earth probably went twenty miles into the Earth's surface and blew out a huge amount of material. Now over the years, it's been filled in, like the ridges that were around it got worn down uh, through erosion and everything because we've got weather here on Earth and tectonic plates and all sorts of things that happen that that can affect. The shape of these things. So, so a lot of the large craters on Earth are not much of them are vi visible anymore. They, they, they. You know, this is this is one of the bigger remnants that we can see. There's another one. Oh, shoot. Is it up here? Is this one? There's a lake up in northern Ontario, uh, northern Quebec. It might be these guys here. Um, there's a couple of them that 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 are up on the shield here. Where, you know, there's not much moisture, there's a, you don't get too much snowfall, not much glaciers, whatever. So these things can be fairly preserved due to the lack of, of, of uh, rainfall. You can look at uh, Meteor Crater in Arizona. This is near Winslow, Arizona. Come on. Flagstaff, Winslow. Here we go. Meteor Crater is... Duh. Holbrook, Woodroff. Come on. I know it's in somewhere near Winslow. I type it in because my eyeballs aren't finding it. Meteor crater natural landmark. Bam, bam. Oh, I was just out of frame. Okay, here we go. Meteor crater here. This is a little guy. This is something that was maybe 50 or 100 feet across that caused it. Um, it's pretty deep. Uh, let's see here. The lip is 5,600. The inside, 5,100. So it's 500 foot deep crater or so. Yeah, 500 feet, 500 feet deep. It's about a mile wide. Um, and uh, this is about 50,000 years old. So it hasn't had, hasn't had much time because in the desert, don't worry about rain and too much weathering. So there isn't too much weathering that's happened. You can see there's some, you know, uh, uh, of these um, uh, little like washes as, as material gets washed down. But we can also, cool thing with Google Earth is that we can click this little thing. We can go to Mars. Take me to Mars, Google Earth, it's loading Mars, one sec. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're on Mars. Look at us here. Um, we can go to craters on we can go to craters on Mars. And you'll see that that these very often have similar shapes to what you see on uh like meteor crater. Some of them are a little filled in with, with dust because Mars has an atmosphere, so dust blows around. Some fresher ones, like this one here, very similar shape to meteor crater has not been filled in with, with dust yet. So it's much more recent, probably within, you know, last couple of million years. Whereas these guys, they're a bit more eroded and um, they've been filled in. Uh, but we got some big ones here. Let me, some of these big suckers. This one's I mean, they mean, almost the same structure. You can see a little bit of, of washes come down, which suggests that there's, that there's water of some kind on Mars, moisture in the soil or something causing erosion. Um, but if we leave Mars, and we go to our old buddy, the moon. Dun, 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 dun. Loading moon, loading moon, loading moon, right? You're staring at that cat like a weirdo. Yes, you are. Okay. 
So the huge craters on the moon, and we can see them. We can we can see these guys. See these folks right here and the little stripies that come off. These are big ass craters. Uh, and when we saw the moon from Earth, uh, da -da -da -da, which way are we going here? Sorry. See the moon from Earth. Got the man, the moon, and whatnot. Um, they called these black regions Maria because they thought they the you know. Renaissance uh, astronomers thought these were seas, that they were, they were looking at oceans on the moon, right? And then, so the doctor spot's like, oh, it's obviously an ocean, just like here on Earth, we got oceans, and that's the ocean. But really what it is, it's basalt. And so you can see, like this guy here, this kind of circular shape, this is a crater. And this crater isn't very deep. This crater should be like probably 100 miles deep for how large it is. But it isn't super deep. And it isn't super deep for one very specific reason. Reason is that when it hit, it superheated the moon's uh, uh, lithosphere so much that it made lava pools. And so it filled right back in with lava. And that is a huge reason why these craters aren't super deep on the moon, is that they filled them with lava. This guy here, Plato Crater, this should be a deep crater, but it heated up the surface so much that that all, that all that soil became lava and filled it right back in again. So a lot of these older craters that filled in with lava um, were from several billion years ago. Uh, the newer ones, these guys here, these ones aren't filled in at all. They don't show any of the evidence of uh, water on the surface. They don't have the same erosion patterns. Um, we have a couple, this band down here might have some clear ones. Like these guys here. Um, this is a very, very textbook crater. So you have uh, uh, ridges on the side and no water, no evidence of water, of ero water erosion. Um, and you got this structure in the middle. So that what happens is when these things hit, it goes shabam and it compresses the earth a whole bunch. And when it gets compressed, it kind of springs back like a trampoline. And you actually get, can get little peaks in the middle as a result. And the bigger the craters are, you can get uh, uh, layers of rings outside. See if we can find a good one that has uh, uh, rings. Big ones with rings, big ones with rings. Give me a really good one. Like the really, really, really big craters have multiple rings around them. And give me some good rings. There's a lot of craters here at the North Pole, but I need a big enough recent one which don't often pop up. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is really, it's kind of hard to see because it's not the highest definition, but you have like the larger structure of the crater and then you have an inner section of rings. Some of them will have like three or four rings if they're big enough. Um, okay, there's North Pole again, South Pole. Uh, give me rings. Like you never find it when you're actually looking for it. <laughs> Give me maybe does Plato have have a ring structure around it? No, it's not big enough for it. But um, anyway, even though I can't find one now because I've been searching and then it won't show up. But Tycho Crater, do you have rings around you? No, but one of the, you're one of the recent ones. So you can see the rebound structure right here, where it pops up. And that's. That's one of the differences if you're looking at an astrobleem, which is what these are called, an astroblemish, astrobleem, uh, is that rebound structure in the middle. And it can fool people into thinking it's a volcanic structure, like it might be a cinder cone, which is what they thought for a long time. That, oh, these are just all volcanoes. But then there's not the normal, like, slope of the volcanic structure to it. Uh, but they're, you know, they're cool. And that's that's why that's all this lava, this all this basalt. Is the reason why all those things fill in. Okay, uh, I'm rambling. Boom. Ron Johnson, are the coordinates on the moon to view space vehicles left behind? Post my ass, I want to buy a good telescope. Uh, you need a pretty big telescope to see uh, the tracks left behind by the rovers, uh, by, by the uh, lunar guys. Let's see if we can, I don't know, let's see if we can see them on Google Earth here. Um, Let's see, Apollo uh, 14, landing site. Do they have it? 
Uh, oh, it's, okay. What are all, okay. What are you? Can't read you. Okay, it's pictures, all LHD movie. Amazing bird's eye view of the lunar surface and what future lunar explorers, nope. Pre-Apollo geologic mapping, <clears throat> lava sea, complex. Okay, I don't know exactly where all these lunar sites are. Apollo 15 landing site, here we go, all right. Come on, show, show, oh great, it's, it's frozen. Cool, just froze. <laughs> I just killed Google Earth with the moon. Oh, now you're working again. Nope, it still froze. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, it's trying to like download a VLC player thing. Um, it's not working. Okay, let's zoom in and see if we can see. All right, landing site. Extravehicular activity. Okay, here we go. Okay, you put overlays on the thing. How do I turn the overlays off? Nope. Can I turn off? Nope. Uh, oh, uh, no, 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 don't, don't do, what are you doing? I want to see the rovers. The rovers drove around and they put little black lines over the tracks. Ah. Oh, nope, can't see it on this one. Maybe if I do, um, stone images. Here we go. All right. So this is, um, at ah, wrong thing. Chrome, Chrome, there we go. So this is just NASA photos of those, which, which one is this? This is Apollo 12 landing site. So these are the footpaths of them and that's the, the descent stage that was left behind. Um, so maybe we can go to Apollo 12. Apollo 14, okay. Apollo, where's Apollo 12? 15. Um, uh, how about you? Are you Luna 21? Nope. Oh, here's Apollo 17. Do we have cool, cool images of this? That's high def. Can I turn off you? No, can't see it on that one. Urgh. Why don't you have detailed astronomical pictures? It's 15 again. Well, heck. All right, well, anyway, as I fail miserably and flail around, um oh they don't have the highest the highest clarity of it. So this is in large Apollo 17 lander. <laughs> it's that's that's the high definition they have of it with Earth-based telescopes. <laughs> is that is that blob right there? Why do I keep showing this thing from was that total recall or something? I don't get it. Okay. Apollo 17 landing sites. There's some tracks there from Apollo 17. You can see the tracks from the wheels in that. There's the tracks. There's the lander or the descent stage. Kitty, are you excited? Stretched out, bud. Yeah. We ventured a little ways. I mean, they got they got out there. Um, these are the mirrors put on the surface of the moon. These are the, that's, that's the mirrors that, that we shoot lasers to to measure how far away the moon is drifting every year. And uh, I have a picture of that rock in my kitchen. And it's like a little mapped out here. It's kind of neat. There's the rover left behind that blob. It's weird they park the rover over there and walk the rest of the way. I don't know. Whatever. I think it's neat. I don't think you can see it on the Google Earth, though. You gotta get like the big telescopes to do it. 